hello guys welcome back to the multimedia channel your favorite channel of course um i hope that you're having a great weekend uh, so if you're here to subscribe to the channel i want to say please and please try and subscribe to stay up to date to the content that i share on the channel because it really goes a long way in encouraging me to you know keep doing what i'm doing on the channel and to those of you who are already subscribed i mean i owe you a lot i want to say a very big thank you to you all keep supporting me i mean keep um engaging the contents because like i said it goes a long way in encouraging me all right so today there are quite a number of updates uh, of course concerning um the super eagles um we're going to be starting really with um the, the, what is what i can say is the most recent news as it concerns um the super eagles and that's talking about the fact that um the head coach finney the judge has resigned from his responsibility i mean he has decided to step down from his position as the head coach of the super egos and um, there are reports that um it is believed rather that um finidi actually took the job today being saturday i mean days after the nigerian football federation actually announced that he was making plans to you know bring on board a foreign technical um advisor you know to sort of assist um finidi judge and it was actually, um, you know, after that um, draw against South Africa in um, Uyo, um, the Aqua Ivory State Capital, and and then that loss, that very shameful loss against Benin Republic in Ivory Coast last week. I mean, so the M NFF thought it wise to, you know, bring on board um, a technical um, assistant to sort of, you know, help him in reshaping the team. But um, news has it that he has resigned from his responsibility as head coach. Um, I don't think I'm entirely, um, you know, surprised with that decision because, I mean, ever since he became um, the head coach of the Super Eagles, it's been one controversy after the other. And, um, you know, some Nigerians were already, you know, asking him to resign, that he's not fit for the job and all of that, that he really needs to go and, um, you know, learn what it takes to lead a team like the players of the Super Eagles and all of that. And... So I don't know. I wish him well moving forward. I mean, it's something he decided to do. And I think as far as I'm concerned, it's the best decision, if you ask me. It's the best decision he has taken because clearly he doesn't have, there's no cooperation. There's no, you know, there's no cordial working relationship between he and the players. I mean, they appear to not respect him as an individual. Maybe because he doesn't really have, you know, the charisma to command respect from them and all of that um but he actually spoke out about the fact that you know there is what he described as a breakdown of um discipline in the team and um the conduct of the players generally he said that um, they're not showing enough commitment and that of course that is reflected in the kind of results that um you know we have got so far the draw against south africa and then the loss against um um, um Benin republic so he has actually spoken out and said that many players um do not show enough commitment and there was something else he said he said that um because they have the backing of the big bosses in the nff he finds it difficult to you know sanction them i mean it's really crazy if that is the case then it doesn't make sense i mean if you're invited to play for the super egos you need to show enough commitment regardless of who's um backing you have so i'm not entirely you know taking taking the blame off the shoulders of um the players of the super egos because it doesn't make sense really if someone has been um um made your head coach you need to give him every respect that he deserves in order to you know help him um achieve success and then there was something else that he spoke about he actually singled out of uh, victor simen you know for not showing commitment and he said that he was not going to beg him to you know come to the camp and all of that and i think it was today victor simon actually took to social, uh, social media to you know lambast uh, Vinny the judge and said that he has lost every bit of respect he has for him he actually spoke about the fact that of course we all are aware that Vinny, um victor simon has been down with injury yeah so he made a video that he shared on i think on his instagram account or so that has been making round as well on um, twitter so in the video he said that he actually told the needy judge about his injury that he told him even when he went to see his his doctor to carry out um some tests i mean if he actually did like he claimed he said he was going to share um a video of that conversation or yeah something like that if he actually did that then i think um 
Finibi was wrong to have singled him out. I mean, this is someone who has clearly explained his situation to you. So why are you making it look like you have some sort of personal beef with him? It doesn't make sense. And I think the the the, the very first time I started noticing this this um, sour relationship sort of between um, the players and Coach Finibi, and the fact that it was as though they would not respect him was that i think there was one friendly match i think that was when he was still like um he hadn't really been appointed the main coach of the super egos that was when we played some friendly matches so uh, you remember that situation where the likes of um, ademola lukman got just few minutes to you know play in the match and then quite a number of players didn't really feature at all in that uh, match so i know many of them were really complaining and ademola lukman was one player who you know criticized him and that was when i noticed that it was as though these players do not really respect this individual and i think he 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 has his own part of the blame as well so as as a coach you need to know how to manage relationship between you and your players because you they determine how far you would go i mean you don't expect to win matches if your players are not cool and i mean we see it across europe you know i know in clubs like manchester united if you recall there were times when that time when you had the likes of Pogba, and then you had Mourinho as the coach so it got to a point when the players you know they were playing as though they didn't really like um Mourinho as a coach and it was reflected in the way they were performing these were good players but you could tell from their performance that something was wrong and I think that is what we've noticed in the matches that this, um, these players have played. I mean, these are guys who are... You recall uh, that Lukman actually scored a hat-trick in the Europa Cup final. I mean, to give his, um, his club that, um, um, that victory. You know how fantastic, uh, fantastic he was in that final. And then, you know, the, the likes of Victor Boniface, who, by the way, hasn't really had enough time. I mean, um, the coach was also complaining that he's not physically fit. And that that's like part of reasons why you know he hasn't really had enough time to feature in the game. So I don't know. You have pockets of controversy between the coach and players here and there, and that is I mean, the major reason why um, the Super Eagles appear not to be performing um, as expected. And something else I really want to say is, um, regardless of the issues that you have with the coach, these players, I I expected these players to. You know, remember that they are not playing for Finney the Judge as an individual. They are carrying the hopes of an entire nation, a nation of over 200 million on their shoulders. Yeah, so if you have some personal beef, whatever, with the coach, you shouldn't bring it into the field. We're really looking forward to who becomes the next coach of the Super Eagles, or maybe the NFF would decide to, you know, appoint a technical, um, I don't know, maybe an interim manager for now. Because, of course, the Super Eagles really need to win their remaining matches to be able to secure the World Cup ticket. Because it would be a big slap on our face. And particularly looking at the group where we belong. I mean, we're fifth on the, on, on, on the table. That's so shameful. I mean, Nigeria is supposed to be leading that team. Looking at the, the quality of players that we have. We hope that moving forward and that when a new coach emerges, I mean, um, the tables will really turn around. Yeah, so moving forward... Um, Former Super Eagles International, of course, uh, Victor Ekweba has actually challenged players of the Super Eagles to really step up their fight, um, you know, to be able to qualify for the FIFA World Cup 2026. He he thinks that the players have become um, too comfortable. And I think that is one opinion that many people have. The players have become too comfortable. But let's see if with the... Um, with the resignation of um, Penidi Judge, things will begin to change. But of course, he has called on the players. That speaking about Ikeba, he has called on the players and asked them to really be serious, to show commitment, because um, you know securing the World Cup ticket really means a lot to the country. Yeah. So moving forward, the president of the NFF, um, Ibrahim Guso, has also assured um, that the body was working to ensure that the ticket is secured. I mean, there have been promises and promises and promises promises here and there but we're not uh, we're not seeing it in the field yet we just hope that things will begin to change so moving forward um nigeria super eagles um an international goalkeeper ojo olo 
Olorun Leke has actually secured, pardon my uh, pronunciation, he has secured um, a move to Sudanese club, it's known as um, Al Marik, on a two year deal. So, this is wishing him um, the best of luck. I mean, he hasn't really had enough time to show us what he's got, but I believe that he is one fantastic goalkeeper. Uh, moving forward, it was a week of remembrance. Um, the NFF actually remembered, you know, former coaches of the Super Eagles who passed on. So, looking at the likes of um, um, late coach Stephen Keshi, who actually passed on on the 8th of um, June 2016, and then um, Shuai Boamodu, who also passed on on the 10th of June the same year 2016. Yeah, so the NFF actually took our time to, you know, remember these coaches for their wonderful contributions to the national team i mean last week they made posts on social media you know remembering them um so we're also remembering them i mean and wishing that their families continue to have the fortitude to bear um the the, the loss yeah so moving forward CAF has actually confederation of african football has actually announced july 4th 2024 as the draw date for the 2025 afcon tournament so on that day nigeria would find out or the super eagles will get to know who they'll be playing against i mean we need to win the, the trophy this time we came very close so close um um in 2024 which of course ended months ago i mean getting to the final wasn't really um an easy feat but we hope that in 2025 these players would bring back the trophy to nigeria yeah so I mean that is the updates we have as far as it concerns um the super egos now i want to talk about of course the euro euro 2024 which actually um started yesterday um with germany the host actually beating scotland scotland five goals to one um in that opening encounter um i mean it shows what to expect in this year's euro competition you have the likes of france who are favorites you have the likes of england i mean the likes of portugal the likes of spain so it's really going to be an interesting tournament if you ask me yeah it's really going to be an interesting tournament i'm not forgetting belgium you know star player uh uh romelu lukaku of course and then um the man city um engine room and the, and then the rest of them so so you have in england you have the likes of um Theo Foden, you have um bellingham who has been superb for um for for real madrid and of course i'm not forgetting brazil so it's really going to be an interesting tournament if you ask me we're just looking forward to you know really interesting displays from all the countries i mean i'm not really writing any country off but of course it appears as though scotland is not prepared this time i mean the scotland that i i used to know wouldn't concede five goals come on it it was too much when you have the likes of mctominy no, no, it doesn't make sense. But of course, um, it's it's too early to really uh, say all hope is lost. So we just need to, you know, calm down and watch the matches, and then we'll see how it goes. All right. So as usual, I want you to drop your comments on the comment section. Um, what do you think about uh, Fini the judge's um, decision to resign or to step down as the head coach of the Super Eagles? Do you think it was the best decision for him? And who do you see the NFL actually bringing on board, you know, to take his place as the head coach? And do you think that moving forward, the players of the Super Eagles would, you know, improve on their performance? Do you think it was Finidi that was the problem all along? You, do you think that they will begin to show commitment? Um, also, you know, talk about the fact that Victor Simeon has actually taken social media to criticize a the judge for actually singling him out for criticism and saying that he is not showing enough commitment even when Osimen himself claims that um, you know he informed Finidi about his injury and the fact that he actually went for um, for a test so just share your comments on um, the comment section also talk about who you expect to win the Euro 2024 do you do you see Portugal winning it do you see Germany who already started on a very good note yeah so just drop your comments on the comment section thank you very much for watching and have a great weekend bye for now